Good morning, bee people. Jason here from Bohemia Apiary, and we are going to uh, do something that most beekeepers won't do, which is uh, you get a call. It's uh, mid to late September. Someone has a swarm, um, as you can see here, and we typically are told in the beekeeping community to, uh, if you see a swarm in July, let it fly. We just did a previous video on merging a colony uh, a couple weeks back. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but this colony is a little different in that it is a, um, you know, a, about two pounds of bees. Um, and there were no, there was no drone comb on the branch when we, uh, when we, we captured the swarm. And uh, there was a virgin queen in there. Now, um, if you are familiar with what that means, uh, that typically means that you need to have uh, some time to have that queen to become mated, uh, to have that colony survive. And with going into the end of September, beginning of October, most would believe that that's a uh, too late, too late to do anything. Um, but we're gonna take a, a chance on this uh, swarm, try to give them a, a new home. Uh, we had no idea where they were gonna go. Otherwise, they would likely have just die. Uh, and so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to uh, keep this and save this colony. Uh, we're gonna put it in, a, in our horizontal hive. So we've recently um, gotten a horizontal hive from Horizontal Bees, um, Ricky uh, Rourke and Ruth Rourke uh, down uh, in, in North Carolina. Uh, they brought it up for us a couple weeks back. You probably saw the video about the BBQ. Put a link in the description below if you didn't see that. Um, but I'm gonna make use of this as soon as I can. Naturally, it's late in the season. I couldn't install bees out of a, a nuke or a package in here. So I'm gonna put this swarm in here. But I gotta do a couple things to help give it uh, a little bit of a boost. So let's take a look at what we're gonna do and I'll explain to you how we're gonna kind of help this colony. Okay, so we've identified a colony that we wanna use. You can see this one right here is a five uh, frame colony. It's really a, a triple five frame, five over five over five. Um, we're going to pull resources out of this. And this is always a good reason why you have more than one colony in your apiary. You know, as a new beekeeper, we always recommend that you have at least two colonies. Well, having an apiary with, you know, many colonies like we have, if we have a, a newer colony like the swarm that we just caught that we need to bolster, we can pull resources out of one of our stronger colonies to help bolster that other colony. Um, let's dig into this colony. And what we're looking for today is we're looking for a good solid frame of brood, right? And we're also looking for um, some resources. So we're gonna go in here and see what we can find and, uh, and use it to bolster that swarm. Okay, so we've selected two frames. We've got two frames of resources that we're gonna use and we're gonna look for a frame of brood now. So let's uh, dig in and find a frame of brood. I've removed the top box because majority of it again is resources and we're gonna hope to pull a frame of brood out of one of these few frames in here. Looking for capped brood. I'm looking for a frame that has a good amount of cap brood, not necessarily eggs, but we'll have a mixture of brood if we have it. If you have some eggs, some larva, but mainly cap brood. So let's take a look what we find. Okay, so here's our frame of brood we're gonna use. We're gonna look for our queen, but if you can see in there, we've got a lot of good capped brood. There's some nurse bees on here. There's eggs and larva in here. Some, uh, some uncapped brood, some honey in the corners. Good solid frame on both sides. Uh, we'll shake some bees off of it. We won't have to shake all the bees off of it, but the majority of them. Um, and then we'll add this to the to the swarm colony as well. Okay, so we've got four frames in this uh, nucleus split. So this is a this horizontal hive allows me to break this up into sections, as you can see. This one is a nucleus section. Uh, it's primarily used for mating queens, which is perfect because this is a virgin queen, and this is really the a good test of you know the design of this this horizontal hive. Um, I have no doubt that the design is is great, um, but again, it's just a way to kind of utilize this late in the season. Uh, catching that swarm. Um, so in this, we've got uh, four frames so far, two frames of brood um, with a few bees still on it. Um, we made sure there was no queen, ob obviously. Uh, there's mainly just nurse bees that are working that brood or keeping that brood uh, at a temperature where it needs to be. Uh, there's a lot of uncapped brood on this one and a lot more capped brood on the right one. And then the two outside frames were solid full of honey. So they already got a jump start going into this. Uh, we only had about a frame of bees when we um, got into the swarm. So let's take a look inside the swarm and see uh, what it looks like today and see if we can find our queen again. Okay, so we've got our uh, bees inside the hive. We did not locate our queen, but we know she was in there uh, when we closed up the uh, Nanook. There was a virgin queen in there, so sometimes it's a little harder to spot. They move around pretty quickly. Uh, one thing to note is that I would never do this if I knew that there weren't any drones around, but I know there's a lot of drones in my apiary still, so uh, we're going to ensure that we, um, we monitor this colony 
Um, if we need to get a uh, mated queen, we can either pull the mated queen from another colony or try to merge this with a colony if it doesn't take, if that queen doesn't get mated. But monitor it for the next seven to 10 days. Allow that queen to get settled in, allow these bees to get settled in, and then come back and check it after seven to 10 days and make sure that you have a mated queen and that she's laying so that you can go into winter. You're gonna probably still need to feed, so we'll feed this, but we do have do, two solid frames of resources and two solid frames of brood, which gives them that boost that they need over the next really life cycle of a bee of that 21 days before those eggs that she lays today can hatch out. Um, so that's that's really the purpose of that. You wanna give them every edge that they need. Uh, they're in the, the, the long hive, I really think because that will help them. That will help them with the temperature regulation going into winter. So let's close these bees up and let them settle in. Okay, so the nice thing about this hive is you can see as I can check on the activity inside the hive. Um, those are the five frames we just installed. The bees, there's a screen bottom board underneath if you want to get some of the airflow or better airflow and also for inter integrated pest management for clean purposes as well. Okay, folks, so we have our colony installed, the swarm that we caught. Uh, we've increased it by giving it some bolstering of brood on two frames and two frames of resources. It's a five frame nook going into winter. Uh, hopefully that virgin queen goes out and gets mated, comes back and continues to lay. Again, we'll monitor it, but this is just a great way to kind of kick off using our new horizontal hive here at Bohemia Apiary made by Horizontal Hives. Um, it's just a way for us to kind of be able to use this up before we go into the winter and then in the spring, naturally use it more. Um, I'm very happy with how it turned out. It looks amazing as you can see. Ruth does amazing painting on it. Um, but again, we helped to save a colony of bees that potentially wouldn't make it through the winter. Gave them a little bit of a chance. We'll monitor them and hopefully they will make it through the winter and come out in the spring here on the eastern shore of Maryland. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. Help support us. We really love to make content, but we need your support to do it. So um, make sure you do that. Um, we're going to be uh, doing that contest soon. So make sure you keep an eye out for when the date is for that. The live contest to give away a lot of beekeeping equipment. But here at Bohemia Apiary, we're going to give these bees a chance to settle in. And hopefully you pulled something away from this, uh, this video, um, how we kind of try to, uh, to, to um, save a late season swarm and bolster it and give it a, a fighting chance. Because here at Bohemia Apiary, well, it's more than a hobby. Hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching, everyone. Okay, so we've got our bees inside. You see a bunch of them flying around. They're just trying to orient a little uh, dis discombobulated. That's not